CERN has a very simple mission, which is to understand uh, the universe, how it works and what it's made of. We do this uh, by building the largest scientific experiments uh, on the planet. The LHC is a 27 kilometer ring, 100 meters underground, and we there collide beams of particles at just below the speed of light to recreate the conditions just after the Big Bang. We look at those with pieces of equipment uh, of the weight of aircraft carriers, and these produce around one petabyte a second of data that we then have to analyze. From this, we hope to find out uh, the differences between matter and antimatter. Um, we have already uh, contributed significantly to the discovery of the Higgs boson, uh, for which the Nobel Prize was awarded last year. When CERN uh, started participating in the OpenStack community, we had discussions with a large number of companies who are also working on OpenStack as well, and we found a number of things in common. In particular, discussing with Rackspace the problems clearly of running large-scale clouds was an interesting topic uh, for us to be sharing experiences on. We do not have the computing capacity or the facilities to be uh, analyzing all the data from the LHC. CERN has been working with Rackspace in various areas of research, in particular trying to find ways in the early days of how we could run high geophysics code in public cloud resources. And as part of this, uh, we use some resources within the Rackspace cloud in London to run a high geophysics code and were then able to compare both the reliability and the results and uh, that was a, a positive comparison. CERN launched the production cloud in July uh, last year and um, we've already got 700 uh, physicists who are using that facility in order to analyze the production data from the LHC that was recorded in the previous four years. The general response has been very positive. Um, people are now getting resources in 15 minutes that used to take a week or months to, to be delivered. Federation for CERN is a critical requirement looking forward. By enabling a cloud environment to have federation, then it allows people to take advantage of the modern software around clouds. So we're funding a developer that sits at CERN who's contributed code into OpenStack. It's been accepted into IceHouse. So now we've got the basic fundamentals of, of federated identity. Federation is like a big next giant step in the cloud computing world. Basically, I'm working on the um, hybrid cloud uh, solution, which is like the federated clouds. So um, the goal of the project is to design, develop, and deploy actually the hybrid clouds, which will let users to use the multiple clouds with just just single set of credentials. My team's been essentially setting the direction for, um, for that development effort, making sure that we're solving the right problems. So for CERN, Federation uh, of Identities, which is the code that's been included into the IceHouse release, is very much a first step. The aim then is to expand out to be able to use resources, authorization models, and service catalogs, and then be able to provide seamless multi-cloud environments uh, across public and private clouds. This environment will then allow us to exploit the maximum amount of computing resources and make those available to the physicists. These tests were very successful. We ran certain standard workloads in a very short time, getting them up and running with good reliability. I think it's a very good example of how we take the extreme computing conditions of the LHC and work with uh, commercial partners such as Rackspace under OpenLab to achieve concrete results and make those available for everyone.